cookie swirl? See? <laughs> na, 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 na. <gasps> oh my! Is that me? Woo! Chocolate dripping cookies! It sure could be! We are gonna be creating a custom. Wait a minute. But this is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Oh, we are gonna be transforming Ariel, this big, giant Disney styling head, to look like Rosie Bloom, one of the newest season seven shopping dolls. So this Ariel is gonna have a totally new makeover. So let's go ahead and take her out. She's no longer gonna be a Disney styling head. She is gonna get a shoppies makeover. All right, Ariel, so are you ready? It's gonna be so super duper exciting and it's so easy. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna pull back all of Ariel's hair so it's out of her face. Okay, great. Now that her hair is completely pulled out of the way, I'm gonna protect my work surface. So I'm gonna just put down some wax paper because we are gonna be doing some painting. So as you can see, Rosie Bloom has some different eyes. She's got one big lash on the top and two big ones on the bottom. And she also has a very, 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 very light little rosy amount of eyeshadow on. And she has green eyes. So we are gonna be changing Ariel's eyes out to match Rosie Bloom. So we are gonna create that eyeshadow color. I'm just gonna take some wax paper and I'm gonna take a little bit of some red acrylic paint. This is red apple. Applejack sure would approve. Take a little bit on my brush, just a little bit. Put it on my paper here. I'm gonna be using some of this off-white color. Take just a little bit of color, just a little bit of the off-white color and mix it in here until I get a very, very faint, light, light, light rosy color. Here we go, this is looking good. This is looking like a really, really light rose color. I think this color looks pretty rosy, just like Rosie Bloom's eyeshadow. Now I'm actually gonna paint on her eyeshadow very lightly in the exact same way that Rosie Bloom has it. So she has hers kind of start right here. So I'm just gonna paint it up like this. And I'm definitely gonna wanna cover these eyelashes because Rosie Bloom has different eyelashes than Ariel has. There we go. There's one eye. A little bit of some eyeshadow on this eye. There we go. So now she kind of has the same amount of eyeshadow. And I'll put a second coat on. I want to make sure that color is nice and strong. Do not want those lashes to peek through underneath. So put another coat of paint on. And maybe even a third coat if it is needed. Just want to make sure her lashes are all covered up and it's just makeup on her eye. All right, now it's time to paint those eyes. So Rosie has such beautiful, beautiful green, green, green eyes. But if you look really, really closely, you can see she's got a little bit of a darker green outline around her eyes. So I'm gonna be using some of this pistachio mint green color. Take a little bit on my brush, put it on some wax paper. And to get that darker green color, I'm just gonna use some neon green for a real good pop of color. Do, 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 do. There we go. Oh, that color is beautiful. So I'm gonna mix the mint and the neon green together. Cause usually when you paint with neon, it doesn't come in really, really strong. So there we go. Ooh, this color is beautiful. It's so green, so green. There we go. That is a great green color. So I'm gonna put some green on my brush. So I'm just now going to paint Ariel's eye everywhere it is blue. Just paint, paint, paint. All right, now that we have Ariel's eyes lined with this darker green, I'm just gonna go in with the lighter green. A Little bit on my brush. I'm not gonna paint as close to the edge this time because that's why we painted that lighter green color, just like Rosie Bloom, who has it just a little bit on the edge. Just gonna go in just like this with my brush and make sure I keep that dark green on the edge. It's all I'm doing. Now, Rosie has the green that goes all the way around her pupil. So I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm just going to paint all the way up and over. Okay, there we go. I know Ariel looks really, really weird right now. It almost looks like she's got like cucumbers on her eyes, like she's at a spa. Ah! But this is exactly how I want her to look. She's looking really good. All right, her eyes are nice and dry now. Now we're gonna actually put the pupil in her eye, so the little black part right here. So just gonna use some black acrylic paint to dip it on my brush. And this will really now shape her eyes so it won't look so weird now. Just create that circle that she has. And the whole point of creating her eyes is that I just wanna make sure that they look as even as I can because our eyes are symmetrical. They both are exactly the same. So now the same thing on this other eye. Rosie Bloom, she's coming alive. There we go. So this one looks a little bit too small still, so I'm just gonna keep adding some paint in, make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more, whatever you think. You know whenever it looks right. So I'm just gonna keep painting until I think it looks right. Ariel is looking really, really good. Oh, you know what I didn't even notice? Is that this 
Shoppy's eye, she actually has some of this green part actually come all the way down to the very corner of her eye. I didn't even notice that. Well, so we have to do that to Ariel, so let's add in that green so it comes further down. Not a problem. We'll just have to redo the pupil just a little bit, but we want it to look like a Shoppy's, so here we go. Add it in, all that green. There we go. Add that green in. There we go. And now let's just readjust where her pupil is. So just reapply it there. There we go. Now it really looks like rosy bloom. There we go. Now the green goes all the way down into the corner of her eyes, just like Rosy Bloom. Now we're gonna add in the little white dots into her eyes. So I'm just gonna be using a toothpick and I'm gonna dip it into some white acrylic paint and I'm gonna add one little blob right here. Boop. And doop. And to the other side. Doop. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna go into Rosie Bloom's eyelashes. And as you can see, she actually has like a liner that goes all the way around her eye. And then she's got her three little lashes. Now the color isn't completely black. It's kind of like a blackened green. Take some black on my brush, put it on some wax paper. And now I'm gonna take some green, open this up. Woo! Take a little bit of this green color and mix it into the black to get a very, very darkened, darkened color. So that way it's not like a pitch black. There we go, that's looking good. So not totally, totally pitch black, perfect. And then on a brush, I'm just going to put a little bit of that color on and just go all the way around her eye. Just take your time going around and around and around. And then after going all the way around, I'm gonna take a toothpick and now I'm actually gonna give her her eyelashes. Woo! Now I'm gonna use some red paint and match her eyebrows to her hair. Give her some rosy red eyebrows. So I'm just gonna paint right over them. Look at how cute she's looking. It looks just like her. Now their lipstick color looks pretty similar in color to me, so I'm just gonna leave the lipstick the same, but I am gonna paint Ariel shells to match Rosie Bloom's shirt. So I'm actually gonna paint it with the pink color. This is princess pink. And I'm just going to paint her seashells because I'm gonna be adding roses onto her. So this part right here is just kind of her regular shirt part. And the other side. Not gonna worry about it too much because like I said, we're gonna be covering this up with flowers. Just wanna make sure at least has a little bit of color. Here we go. All right, now that the paint is dry, I'm gonna seal everything in that I painted with some Mod Podge sealer. So I'll put a little bit on my brush and I like to dip it in water too so it's not super duper concentrated. And I'm just going to paint over everywhere that I actually painted with acrylic paint because this will protect all of the paint, seal in all of that color and it will be protected forever and ever and ever. So I'll go ahead and paint it all over my rosy bloom Ariel. Protect that paint from chipping. Even on the part of her top here, seal it in. Seal all that color in. All right, are you ready for the next step? Now what we're gonna create is this awesome headband that rosy bloom has with all of these beautiful, beautiful roses on them. So to create one for our little Ariel rosy bloom, I've got this little headband here and you can just get these at the Dollar Tree that I'm actually just going to set on her head like that. And I also found these roses at the Dollar Tree too. These ones actually have little hearts on them as well inside of the little bouquet because Valentine's Day just happened. So they had these really cute little flowers. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create the same bouquet of roses that Rosie Bloom has on her headband on this headband. So it looks like we've got three red flowers and three pink flowers. So I'm just going to take my scissor and clip them off. Oh! So there's one, two, woo, and three. And now we need three pink roses. Whoop. Oh! Whoop. So now I'm gonna glue each one of these flowers on my headband and I'm gonna be using a hot glue gun. So of course, for my younger cookie fans, you must have an adult help you with a hot glue gun because this gets hot. Safety first. So take my rose, put a little bit of some glue right here. Whoop. And press my rose on. There we go. See, there we go, this headband is looking beautiful. Since she has these big little rose leaves right here on the side of her headband, I'm gonna just take some leaves from my little floral bouquet. Whoop. 
like that. Yep, you got it. And I'm just gonna glue it on right there. Floral bouquet. Now I saved two red roses ah, because Rosie has these two red little roses right on top of her shoulders. So right on Ariel's shoulder here, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of glue Whoop. and a rose. Same thing with the other side. Whoop. Put the glue and a rose. Okay, now that her outfit is completed, now we have to style her hair. So I want it to look as close to what Rosie Bloom has as possible with the two little ponytails. So let's let out Ariel's long hair. And I have a little braid on the side here, so let me undo her braid. Don't need that anymore. Ooh, it looks like she actually has it kind of tied off here, so I'll undo that. There we go. So I'm just going to brush out her hair so it's as smooth as I can get it. Now, Ariel has a natural part on her hair that kind of goes this way. So even though Rosie Bloom has her hair kind of flowing that way, I'm just gonna stick with the doll's hair flowing this way because if I part it this way, it's just gonna look a little bit thinner on the top here and I want it to be as full as possible. So she has a really nice natural part here. So I'm going to just take this piece and keep this out as much as I can. So keep that out and everything else now is gonna be pulled into these two little ponytails. Whoop, there we go, whoop, there we go. So there's one ponytail, kind of give it a twist and a twirl and kind of brush out the ends. So there's one ponytail and now the other one, just kind of gather this hair and I've got my little rubber band here. I didn't have clear ones like Rosie Bloom. These are the ones I had, so that's okay. And tie her hair up, whoop. There we go, now we've got another ponytail. Just kind of twist it, kind of contain the craziness of it. Give it a brush, Whoop. there we go. So now she has her hair in these two little ponytails, just like Rosie Bloom has. Now for this part of her hair, since we're leaving her bangs out, Rosie Bloom has this beautiful little green streak. It looks like she's got a little bit of some green highlight growing right out of her roots. So we're gonna add that same green into Ariel's hair, which I actually found this green hair extension piece at the Dollar Tree as well. So we're just gonna use a piece of this. So I'm going to lay the hair extension flat and I don't even have to take it out of the package for this. Brush it out, make sure it's nice and smooth. And I'm just gonna take a little piece of it, just enough to be my little hair extension piece. Like this amount should be good. Kind of twirl it and twist it together. And I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm actually just going to glue over this hair strand to kind of clump it together. Doesn't have to be perfect. There we go, clump, 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 clump. And that's just only so I can manage this hair a little bit easier. So now I'm gonna cut it off. Whoop. And now I'm just gonna split Ariel's hair just like that, just so I can see her crown. Now that the glue has kind of had time to dry on here, it's still a little bit warm. I'm just gonna press it and flatten it out with my fingers, just like that to kind of create a hair extension piece. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it down even more. Whoop, just like that. So now I have like a little hair extension piece and right on there, I'm gonna put a little bit of some glue and very quickly, I'm going to apply it to the doll and just put it right into her hair, just like that. So I created a little hair extension for her now. Just press it in there, perfect. And of course, now I can brush her new hair extension piece right into her hair and take this piece of hair and just kind of fold it over. See, and now she's got this green streak in her hair. And now I'm just gonna give her a haircut because it's just a little bit long. So I'm gonna trim it up just like Rosie Bloom. Just give her a haircut. Whoop, there we go. So now she's got her streak off to the side. We can give her her hairband just like that. There we go. And now she has her little hair streak just like Rosie Bloom. It looks totally like her. I think it's really, really cool. It's just the aerial version of her. So everything from her makeup to her eyes to her flowers in her headband and even now the green streak in her hair. Here is Rosie Bloom. Woo! And now because she's a styling head, you can actually style her just like Ariel was meant to be styled. And I can just style her hair over and over and over again. Except for now I can pretend she's Rosie Bloom. Woo! All right, Cookie fans, I hope you enjoyed this random fun DIY turning Ariel the Little Mermaid into a Shoppies doll. I wish you guys happiness and a wonderful, wonderful day, Cookie fans. And thank you for your sweetest comments in the whole entire world. I have the nicest fans ever. I mean, look at your guys' comments. Ah, everybody is so nice. Everyone is so nice. Don't forget to grow your way on over to my next video and I will see you there. Bye, Cookie fans. <laughs>
All right, cookie fans, how well were you paying attention to the video? How many pink roses did I add on to the Ariel Shoppy Dolls headband? How many pink roses were added? One, two, three, four, or five. 